everyone, this is Dindy Engelman, and I am um, so excited to be um, having the opportunity today to talk with the one and only Elle McPherson. Um, I do want to just address that in light of what's going on um, with the world today, with COVID and everything that's going on in the country, wellness has never been more important, and I want to make sure that everyone's taking care of themselves physically and and mentally and please take time to love yourself and love others so with that um, I'm going to wait for Elle to join um, Elle McPherson as you know is a beauty icon a supermodel known as the bod um, across the globe and is one of the kindest souls I have ever known and um, I had the opportunity to meet her a couple years back with Janelle Astorita and I see that Elle's trying to get on. I just want to, will you just, okay, there we go. There. So she'll be joining us in just a second. And Janelle is um, the owner of Just Ageless. At, uh, I'm there, yay! Oh, yay. Hi. I was talking about Janelle and how we met. Hi, Hi there. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good. Good, Good to see You're you. You're beautiful. Thank you. You do too. Nothing, nothing more intimidating than joining joining a supermodel on a split no, screen. No, I got my Sunday morning groove on today. Nothing well, major. <laughs> well, that's that's the beauty of being a supermodel. You don't know anything major. <laughs> Let me see um, if you can get this camera right. Yeah. So I was telling everyone how we met through Janelle. Through Janelle, who we love. We love her. I just saw that she was on. She says hello. Um, and Janelle is the owner of Just Ageless at 11 Howard, and it's a great, great facility for beauty, for lasers, for gua sha facials, which I know you're a huge fan of. She has tons of lasers, tons of body contouring devices, yeah. and we just love her. And, and she's been amazing for me because, you know, I'm, and, and the pair of you actually make such a good team because I've, um, you know, I am such an advocate for, for natural beauty, um, it took me a long time to kind of come around to the concept that you could have, uh, that, there, that lasers could be good for you, good for your skin. And um, good skincare has never been more important to me because, uh, you know, today, in, even in my business, it's much more about my, my face and my, and my skin than it is the shape of my body. And, uh, and I realized that, it, you know, a lot of it is uh, nutrition and lifestyle, but, you know, it's important to... Uh, cultivate healthy skin and uh, you guys between you and um, and Janelle have really taught me how to do that I, I, I don't think I really kind of knew quite what to do um, so I'm thank you both <laughs> for your help in that well, in that well thank you for letting us treat you and I think that um, you kind of touch on a great point that oftentimes it sounds very scary you know we think about lasers being something and that you don't want shot at your face mm -hmm. um, and you know, in the right hands, they are quite powerful and really can transform the appearance of our skin in a healthy and focused and a beautiful way. And even in a gentle way where you don't have mm. to have downtime, you know, there's a whole line of offerings. And so I think to demystify that and be able for you to, you know, talk to your followers and, and it does still seem like you're using science, but also in a more natural way than maybe injectables and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Exactly. And you've been really wonderful because, uh, you know, there's, there's a couple of um, uh, domes that I love to work with, like you in New York, I have Dr. Del Campo here in Miami, and I have Dr. Joseph in Australia. And what I love about all three of you is that you've totally respected my desire to um, uh, want to have natural, healthy skin, but in natural ways. So yeah. it's not about injectables or Botox or putting toxins necessarily inside the body because I'm spending so much time getting right. toxins out. I don't want to put any more in. Yes. And um, so it's been really wonderful sort of combining good skin care and good skin practices, building collagen um, from the inside and from the outside. And um, you know, it's been an interesting journey for me as far as skin is concerned. I, I first noticed that there was, a, there was a profound effect on what you put inside your body and how it affected your skin a few years ago when I started working with, um, I had a, a health crisis and I was working with a fantastic doctor in Arizona uh, mm -hmm. called Dr. Sarah, and this is her here, Sarah. Um, and she's a plant-based um, chef and also... 
Um, she was the one that taught me, you know, let food be thy medicine, medicine be thy food mm -hmm. uh, from Hippocrates. And um, she walked me through a 21 day fasting diet, uh, juicing diet. And my skin changed so dramatically when I took out some of the things that were causing me to have skin problems. So inflammation and sugar and wheat and um, certain skin, uh, certain food allergies that I had. So my gut uh, was was the response on my skin was from my gut. And I didn't, yeah. hadn't really realized that. So, you know, I started then when I started to see that I could have really incredible skin through eliminating certain foods, eliminating inflammation in my body through juicing. Um, and then when I combined it to some great uh, processes that I do with you, for example, to help build collagen as well, um, I just realized, you know, that there's definitely a correlation you I can use agree. both science and nutrition. I, I agree. And I love the concept of food as medicine. I think that um, even in the dermatologic literature, we really know that there's something called a gut brain skin axis. And if you don't have the proper microbes in the GI tract, it actually does feed back not only to your sense of well being but also to your skin. And we now know that there's a microbiome on the skin, just as there are mm. important flora in the gut. And they truly are connected. And why we thought right. for so long they weren't is kind of silly. Um, yeah. But um, one of the things that I love and take every day, and it's funny, when I posted it, it's amazing how many of my followers also have it, but your super elixir, mm. I love, and I make a, a green juice with it every morning and have it right here. And um, it's almost, it's interesting just the sense of um, like how your level of happiness, like in the whole sense of wellness, mm. it, it really does actually feed back to, to the brain as well and your sense. Yeah, of I think when your body's functioning really well and you have good support. So I see the super elixir, the super greens, you know, there's 40 plus ingredients in that. And it's really like the foundation. Uh, it's the base and then we have the boost. And, you know, for example, I use this one also. This is great for hair, skin and nails as a boost. So you've got your foundation, your vitamins and minerals. A lot of uh, modern day farming has depleted the soil from uh, a lot of the nutrients that we can get from yep. the soil. Um, so we do need to replace some of those nutrients into our diet. We do it through great uh, fruit and vegetables and um, nuts and seeds, but you know, often it's not enough. Mm -hmm. So making sure that our mitochondria is well nourished and our cells are well nourished and that helps all systems of the body work. So our endocrine system, which, you know, regulates our hormones, which affects the way we think and feel, uh, you know, our circulatory system, our skin, you know, or digestion, it's all needs support. And um, that's why, you know, when I, I went to see Dr. Laubscher, who is a nutritionist, um, who is my personal nutritionist and who's also the, um, who has created the Super Elixir, it's her, her recipe. Um, you know, she, she really uh, explained to me how important it is that every system of the body is, is um, functioning well in order to feel well because it's, and that not only affects the way your skin looks, but it's that whole energy that, it, that, that, that comes from you when you're feeling well, when you feel like you can do anything, when you feel that sort of sense of, inspiration and excitement and uh, motivation in life um yeah. so you know we can't sort of treat one part of our body just uh, singularly and expect to have a full uh, range of um support yeah and and i i couldn't endorse all of that more wholeheartedly. Oftentimes we think about like specialists in medicine and you only mm. take care of one system mm. and and i come from a family of, of healers and my father is um, a general practitioner and my mom is a therapist. And um, I always thought about like mind and body together through my parents, but also um, in skin and in dermatology, you know, it's really, your skin is kind of, um, it'll tell on you, you know, mm -hmm. it's the one that you have to know everything going on systemically. Um, and often there are manifestations in the skin that are, are hinting towards other organs that are not Absolutely. properly optimized in their function. And so I, I do love to look at that whole wellness approach and, and it is all connected. And I, we don't Absolutely. just want to parse out everyone like, 
oh, well, here's the liver specialist, here's the lung specialist, here's the skin specialist. Mm -hmm. We all really should be working in tandem for overall health. And I, I am glad that we're seeing that trend. It used to just be either you were fully in the Eastern medicine bucket or yes. the Western. And now I think we can all live together and, and glean talking or teaching points from, from both philosophies. Mm -hmm. It's not all or none. There's Absolutely. definitely, like I love, I've been talking so much more about lymphatic drainage because I know how, what a fan you are and yes. the massage and the gua sha that Allie does at Janelle's. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. And I know you're a huge like lymphatic drainage massage. Yeah, lymph for me is super important. And I work with a few people. I do, I have a few protocols for lymph. One of them uh, is, um, I call her Lady Torturer. Sheila <laughs> Perez here, she comes and she does hand on lymph. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it is not, you always see, if you go onto her Instagram, you'll see all these women with very flat stomachs. And it's not really about that. I mean, I think that that's the thing that p attracts people to the concept that their stomach is going to be flat. But the reality is for me is it's about, it is a, a, like a medical procedure where the lymph is sort of like a sewage system of the body and, mm -hmm. and it slows down. It gets sluggish from food that we eat, from uh, emotions that we feel uh, from just not getting the right type of exercise from not getting enough water and I can do as much of that as I want but it, I do I still need help and especially you know as you move towards 60 that's the one thing that the lymph you know really truly needs to be cleaned um, yeah. and moving throughout the body yeah. so I, and then and Ali at, uh, at um, just ageless does incredible lymph uh, work on the face the neck and all here um, which, you know, affects the shape of the face as well, mm -hmm. as well as the texture of the skin. So, you know, I love the fact that we're looking at all these different elements. And, and I noticed also when I was working with um, Chef Sarah, that uh, when I was uh, juice fasting, that what I thought were sunspots on my face, brown spots, were actually sort of liver toxicity. And then once my liver was cleared, um, I had a lot less of those brown spots on my face. So I could have been trying to treat them through, you know, peels and um, whitening things. But actually, if I cleared my liver, three quarters of that uh, left my skin. Um, and so I think that was really interesting for us when we were creating our boosters for Welco. Mm -hmm. The liver booster was extremely important because yeah. I had seen such profound correlation between detoxing the liver and the effects on the skin so you know you can look at skin through collagen building with lasers that you guys do through you know aquatic collagen uh, boosters that we have as i said this is the base this is yeah. the boost um or uh, you know other other things like this i use this product this is a really great product from a guy called zach bush Okay. And, and guys, you, you can go onto his Instagram. He's really interesting. But this is, a, this is about mending the uh, microbiome in the gut and, uh, and um, you know, helping with leaky gut or helping heal leaky gut that we uh, can often get where uh, toxins stay in the cells and nutrients can't get in. So it's like pushing the toxins out and putting the nutrients in. And you can read more about that if you go online. Yeah, he's, he's amazing and um, com completely opened up my eyes about, you know, the microbiome and, and sort of about, you know, the role that nature plays in our life. Mm -hmm. um, I've been going very deeply into this journey of this correlation between man and nature. And, um, you know, it started off when I, you know, being an Australian and then, you know, I, I met Dr. Laubscher and, and then, uh, you know, Dr. Sarah and Jack Bush and my friend Will Cole, who's uh, who spoke to me a lot about inflammation and how that affects, um, you know, how the body functions. He's got a great book, which I have here, The Inflammation Spectrum is also a really great one to read. Um, so, you know, uh, there's so many different kind of things that we can do. Uh, along with the beautiful work that you you do but between lasers and skin care and yeah. um, so that you can kind of address wellness and health uh, from the inside f from your you know your heart and your brain and you know um, and with nature you know it's it's incredible we're so blessed to have so much information these days yeah um, and I, I I say 
often to my patients, you know, inflammation is the root of all evil in medicine and it's what, whatever organ system is ailing. Mm. And so if we can live a anti-inflammatory lifestyle through diet and practices and right. meditation and yoga, everything benefits. Absolutely. Um, and I, um, I, I love how, when you were talking about, it's funny because Zach Bush, the last name reminded me of your Australian Bush products that you brought. I like, you know, I'm from, I'm from South Carolina. I love that you're from Australia and have incorporated what you've known from home mm. into your skincare mm. um, and, and the healing properties of specific things that are native to your country. And I right. think if anybody who's watching and hasn't tried some of Elle's topical products, they're so beautiful. They have Thank that you. body rub that I love, the scrub. Yes. It's so beautiful. I mean, I like, like your hair mask. I like your face mask. I, li I love the, um, the bush um, cleanser and moisturizer. I think that they're so lovely in their textures and, the, um, and, and very clean beauty, which I think most people it is, are. It's very important. And for us, what we wanted to do is that there's a lot of clean beauty on the market. I did a very, we did a very uh, small collection, uh, limited edition collection of um, clean clean uh, beauty products that uh, were infused with Australian bushflower remedies mm -hmm. because um, I've been doing, studying quite a lot uh, uh, the, the power of aromatherapy and the healing power of Australian bushflower remedies. Um, uh, doTERRA uh, do some great, um, uh, some great aromatherapy um, products if anybody's interested. But we decided to infuse our um, clean body wash, face mask, hair mask, and um, moisturizer with Australian bushflower remedies because, um, you know, I love the kind of concept of getting a two for one so you get a clean product and you get a healing um, uh, benefit from it. So an emotionally healing benefit from yeah. it, whether it is, you know, clearing your mind. Detoxing is not just... Uh, detoxing your gut, you know, detoxing is detoxing your mind and, uh, you know, sort of letting go a lot of things of the past. And I think that's what COVID is teaching us to some extent is uh, it's been a perfect time for us to slow down and to figure out what's truly important to us and sort of doing a bit of a detox, you know, letting go of the things that are not as important, picking up the things that are more important to us and really focusing on those. And, so, you know, you do it inside through your body cleanses, but you do it in your heart and in your spirit as well. Yeah. So I've it's been, been really an interesting impressed. time. It has been. You, you've been like a, a role model for me because even early on when we checked in, I mean, I just texted you right at the beginning of quarantine mm -hmm. and you immediately called me. And that was such a great move mm. and made me feel so happy. And you were, you, you've just come to a place of, of acceptance way, way sooner than I had, did or even have mm. um, and kind of like, what can we learn from this? And I yes. think that is a beautifully elevated space to come to something like this mm. from. And so I applaud you. I, I don't think I've mastered it yet. I'm still kind of focusing on the meaning. You're doing me. an amazing job. <laughs> I see you. You're doing your work. You've got those incredible children of yours. You're at home. Is it, is it your family that's from, you're in t Tennessee? South Carolina. South Carolina. So that's your family or that's your husband's family? That's my family. Yeah. And so how wonderful for your children to be spending so much yeah. time with their grandparents, with you all together. I mean, Southern Beauty, listen, you guys are incredible because you have a real thing. There's a real, you know, Southern Beauty and Southern Hospitality is something that I've always been very attracted to because it's, there's a, there's a sort of generosity uh, about it. You know, Southern girls are always beautiful. They're always done. You know, you don't see a yeah. Southern girl like, yeah. like me on a Sunday. <laughs> uh, I, I, can, I can name every Southern girl I know who would like to look like you on a Sunday. Or oh, it's very kind. Um, yes, my, I, my mother, who is a beautiful lady, and her birthday is next week. Um, Happy birthday, mom. Thank you. Um, she, you know, will never even go to the gym like without being done. And I think that that's such a fun, like, way to grow up and then end up being working in beauty, you know, because mm. I pull so many of what I knew or saw. I mean, we're all mm. sons of our experiences. Um, and that model of 
of just looking your best, but not, not because you're so vain often. It's, you know, it's almost like you respect those who you're going to see. So you don't, you know, go to the store in your sweatpants. And yeah. um, so, um, I mean, maybe I, that's just the way I justify it, but I truly believe that that's, mm -hmm. that's the, I mean, of course there's some vanity linked to it, but it's also like giving others your best self. Absolutely. And you know, I grew up like that too, to some extent, because I lived for 17 years in the UK. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a, first of all, they, they completely honor eccentricity and uniqueness, mm -hmm. but you know, you make an effort, you do make an effort no matter what you do. And whether it's a school uniform for the children that grow up and they put a tie on and a cap on and their, you know, shoes have to be polished and they shake the hand of their headmaster as they walk in the door. But it is that concept of, I make an effort for you um, and I present the best of myself for you and for me yeah. because I respect myself and I respect you. Yeah. And that doesn't mean that it's not real because it's, everybody has their different ways of expressing themselves, but it's making that effort. Yeah. Um, and I think that can change our mindset. Like I know that it, it was, you know, in COVID, I do not get up in the morning and stay in, I don't even wear pajamas, but you know, I do get dressed. Yeah. Um, and I wear a lot, this is my friend, Anine Bing, by the way, I don't know if anybody knows her. What's it say? A powerful kind, right? I am, oh. what does it say? I am powerful, kind, co um, confident, strong, capable. What's this one? I can't remember. And then it says, I am me. But anyway, um, oh, you know, she has fantastic sort of like um, cool clothes that are still comfortable. Um, but, you know, you, make, you, you get up and you make an effort. Yeah. Uh, and, and I like quality um, quality products that you're not going to just sort of wear once and then throw away and you know yeah. disposable fashion for me is really not where it's at anymore and I think it's the same yeah. thing with skincare yeah I agree with that and I, best I in quality um I did too want to talk about um just for a second since we're both mothers of two how mm. how your boys are and how everybody's doing in your family they're doing, th thanks for asking. Um, the boys are doing well. Uh, Flynn's just graduated from university. Um, so he, he has a, um, you know, he had a double, sort of double major, double concentration uh, at a fantastic business school in Boston. Um, and so he's, he, he graduated with a real estate and um, finance degree. It was a bit sort of sad because he didn't have a graduation. Maybe we'll have one in the, in the fall. Um, and he's worked so hard that I really wanted to see him have that yeah. proud moment. Yeah. Um, plus, you know, I didn't go to university even though I, I wanted to study law and, and my and the father of my children didn't go to university. We're both successful entrepreneurs independently. So you don't have to go to university right. in order to be successful. But I think for my son to be the first one to go to university, my parents didn't go. His parents, his father's grandparents didn't go. So he was going to be the first one. Mm -hmm. um, but he graduated with honors and has done really well. So now he's looking, well, he actually has a job, which is great. It's out of college. And then uh, Sai is in a grade 11. He's applying for, for college this year. Uh, he's been uh, really managing well at home schooling. And I think it's really, um, it's been interesting because there's been many kids that have sort of haven't been able to cope with that amount of freedom of, um, and self-discipline. And it's really sort of separated the men from the boys in many ways. Kids have either really uh, dived right in and, th and, and have um, thrived throughout this period, or so many kids have just gone, gone, it's too hard, I'm just going to let go, it's COVID, forget about it. But right. I was one of those that just got in and uh, he's... Adapted. Yeah, he has and done very well. In fact, he's evolved, he's, he's much preferred this homeschooling than he has going to school. So, and he's getting fantastic grades. So, um, well, I, that was something that I just loved about meeting you early was just how you could just, you exude that you are a caring, loving mother who adores your boys. They're so handsome that cover suit <laughs> for Australian Vogue. I mean, those are- Don't those tell them that they're pictures. handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sense that they know. But they, um, I, I just, I think, you know, 
we this is allowing not even though I met you through beauty like you really resonate on like being a mama and what that looks like and how much you care about your children and your family and I think <clears throat> you know those are the human connections that we need to lean into absolutely whatever and I think our kids learn from not what we say but from what we do and you're a perfect example of that I've watched you you know I've watched how how um You've given your children the ability to grow and explore during this period. You know, I've seen them doing plenty of different things. There's been enough discipline there to keep them on track, but plenty of space to evolve and to grow and to explore. And, um, and I see you doing that uh, uh, along the way personally. So, you know, our children, it's not everything that we tell them. It's, it's how we are. We are as people that helps educate them. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, I know we're all doing the best we can, you know, and I think sometimes we forget that we are enough. We are enough. And uh, love is really what we, we're about teaching our kids is, is truly about love, love for themselves and love for others, um, well, love and respect. The best teaching point you can make, I think, and, it, and I congratulate you because your boys are already – <clears throat> they have a sense of self. I, I just hope that my little two and four year old continue to be as good as yours have become. So good job. Good job. A plus on that mama. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, so th- How are you one- sleeping? Have you been have you found that uh, COVID has uh, influenced your sleeping? You're sleeping well? I wasn't sleeping well at first. I kind of like went in this weird spiral of, and I, I, I fancy myself pretty adaptable, but I will say at the beginning, it was a little harder and I wasn't sleeping mm-hmm. well. And I just didn't like the fear of the unknown and not yes. to, have to be able to make plans and what this was going to look like. And when were the children going back to school? And when was I going back to work? Yeah. I love, I love what I do and I love my patients and, yeah. you know, to think you're not going to see them for six weeks. And there was just so much. More. Yeah. So I was not, um, I was not sleeping well. I am now, but I'm having really, really interesting dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to send you some of this. Okay. This is our sleep well tea from okay. World Coke. There are little tea bags here. It's got valerian and hops in it, and um, we call it nature's nature's valium. I've been. Um, I and I've always been. I wasn't a good sleeper, and Dr. Labshire developed this tea for me because I was not sleeping well. And uh, I have started taking this, doubling up on this over COVID. And I okay. found that I've been coping with my days a lot better because my sleep is restful. Yeah. Uh, it's profound. Um, you can get some funky dreams. It's true. And I have a notepad and pad beside my bed now. So That's rather funny. than freaking out about my dreams, I've been waking up and writing them down. That's and, um, you know, I'm seeing some patterns evolving, which I think is kind of interesting. Yeah, but uh, I think this is a really good, I'm going to send you some of this and, okay. and you can let me know how you feel. Well, I can buy it. Yeah. And Joel <laughs> okay. Rosa, um, the, uh, earlier had asked, like, where do these products sound amazing? And he, one of the viewers asked where they can buy all of You this. can go to wellco.com, W-E-L-L-E-C-O.com, and you can find everything there. And you can see our, all our foundations. So we have, like, our bases are... Uh, the super greens, 40 ingredients plus. We have our super protein, which is a very clean, lean protein powder. We have it in chocolate and vanilla. It's pea and rice. No way. It and tastes really good. Pea. It tastes really good. I have it without fail every day now. It's been my go-to. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have our sleep tea. And then we have the boosts. So yeah. the base is the, the tea, the protein, the sleep, the greens, and the protein. And then you boost. So you can boost hair, skin, and nails. You can boost liver detox, you can boost uh, gut support, you can boost bone support, immune libido. system, uh, libido. I, there's a whole thing called COVID libido, believe me. I've heard, <laughs> not that I know, <laughs> that it's really affecting people's libido. Okay. Um, I take the libido every day because it's really about hormone support. And, yeah. you know, for me, hormones, balancing hormones is so important. And um, it's really what got me on this journey. You know, when I turned 50 with Dr. Laubscher, I went to see her because I just sort of said, listen, what I've been doing for the last 30 years is suddenly not working anymore. And I don't really understand my body as well as I used to. And I just need to find some support here. And 
is this, am I just supposed to be in acceptance, like this is what it is to go through this new phase of my life? Or is there something that I'm doing wrong? And she just said to me, listen, you know, it's not about age. It's about inflammation, actually, and acidity. Yeah. And uh, she started talking to me about a whole bunch of stuff that I'd never really even uh, under heard of, like inflammation, acidity, and cortisol, and um, and she 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 put me on a program, and within a few weeks, I noticed such profound differences in my life that um, I wanted to start a business to share it with other women because I figured there must have been other people that were feeling the way I was feeling, and it's not. Um, restricted to people that are in their 50s, I realize now, like my 22 year old son, you know, doesn't go a day without taking his greens. And he doesn't eat any plants or fruit anyway. Um, <laughs> go figure, but he takes his greens every single day. And he takes the um, gut support and he takes the immune support. And that's, you know, his that is non negotiable for him. So, um, you know, it's been really interesting for me to see how these basic concepts of inflammation mm -hmm. um, can, can touch all different people, men, women, you know, teenagers, um, you know, 50, 60 year olds, that sometimes the food that we can eat can trigger, um, can trigger inflammatory responses in our bodies and how we calm that and how we nourish our bodies properly so that we can be in optimum health so we can feel that we can do anything. And, and that's the most important thing for me is that feeling, you know, being empowered, being in the driver's seat of your own wellness journey yeah. is no, one I of the most that. exciting things that you can be. And do you, a lot of the viewers were asking, how long should I take the liver supplement? How long the hair? And it, yeah, that's a good, these are good points. I don't think you can, uh, you, we have 14 days. So this is a 14 day pack. Mm -hmm. um, there's 14 yeah. boosters in here. I say start with 14s. You might want to do it for a month. And you might want to specialize on one part of, you might decide you want to do hair, skin, and nails for a month. Uh, or you might want to do your immune system for a month. Now's a good time to be doing your immune system. Yeah. You know, yeah. so you might only do that, or you might do immune and gut together um, for, you know, or maybe two weeks of your immune, uh, or over a month, say, immune every other day and gut every other day. So okay. that you're doing sort of a profound, um, kind of uh, treatment, if you want, for either 14 days or a month. Okay. I actually don't think 14 days, I, I think it's really about a month for me. That's what I, well, I see difference within a month. Yeah, well, exactly. certainly with the skin, we, we think about 28 day cycles as far as cellular turnover. And I, mm. in, in, even in medicines, I prescribe for acne or other inflammatory skin conditions, we often will say you need to give it at least four weeks. And so right. I, that makes sense as far as the cycle. Timing and when I've done some of, uh, you know, some of the treatments we've done together, uh, it's been six weeks before I see, I, I like suddenly I don't think, I think, oh, this didn't do anything. And then six weeks later, it's like, wow, my skin looks amazing. Like it's, you know, it feels plump and it feels tight and it feels, and, you know, obviously I'm doing a, a combination of things. It's not just one thing, but it does take time for the cells to create the collagen that we need or to clear the liver or to clear the gut. It just yeah. takes time, but not that long. Yeah. And being consistent doing it every day is super important. Yeah, I agree. And thankfully, your, I feel like your formula, it tastes nice. It's not like offensive where you're like, oh, I have to get through that. You almost like it's so easy for me now to just incorporate that. It, it's just a given, just like you brush your teeth in the morning. And so that's so nice to know that even if you, you do have a, an adolescent boy who maybe isn't eating as cleanly as they should, mm. um, or quite honestly, like a busy dermatologist in New York City who's not mm. always eating all the, <laughs> the greens that I should, at least you know that you kind of have a baseline of coverage with so many concentrated good vitamins and probiotics there that you yes. kind of start off on the right foot at least. It's so important, and you're right about the taste. So I tried greens before these ones, and I couldn't, I couldn't be consistent with them because they didn't taste good. Mm -hmm. And this is like, you know, it's so light. It depends on how much water you can put in. You can either do it as a shot, like I think Flynn, my son, does it as a shot. So he just downs it. But I do it as a, like a vitamin water. I put two teaspoons in a, in, in a liter of water, so it, it has a light pineapple taste. Um, the other way I like to do it is I'll do, um, and this is my big lunch, 
a sort of lunch to mid morning lunch snack is I'll do two scoops of chocolate protein powder, one scoop of greens, one full avocado and a little bit of water in the Nutribullet. And I mix that up. So I'm getting protein and all the greens and some healthy fats with the avocado and some water. And I make like a, a mousse with it. And I am a hundred percent better since I've been doing that. And I think a lot of people don't realize how important if you are doing any kind of collagen building um, uh, practices, whether it be lasers or working out, that you actually need protein. Yeah. If, you know, if you're detoxing, you need protein to help you detox. If you're building collagen, you need protein to help you build the collagen. So I think people are, uh, underestimate the power of a good clean protein. Uh, yep. in their diet so I'm making sure now before it was just my greens now it's the greens and the protein I'm realizing it I'm really at my optimum with both that's really interesting and and like good fats because some of the vitamins won't even be absorbed like a d e and k which are all fat soluble if they if you don't have it consumed with some it doesn't have to be a lot of fat but some yes. fats you're not getting out optimal absorption and so Absolutely. people often think they have to be just water-based and super clean but we, we need to stop demonizing certain components of diet, Absolutely. just using the right ones and the healthy ones. So I think yeah. you, you really demystify it for people, make it super easy. And so I applaud you. It's not easy to come up with these things and you've done a beautiful job. So I follow some great people, as I said, that have a lot of information um, that really helped me, like my friend Angie Green. You can see her on Instagram at Angie, A-N-G-I green g-r-e-e-n-e -E. uh dr will cole is a good one dr zach bush is a uh, dr mccoller has also got some very interesting ideas um dr pompa uh so you know this i i i learn a lot of what i learn from from people that and of course dr lauscher who is a wealth of plethora and you can follow her on rejuve uh, clinic, I think. So, yeah. And, so, and will you show your book again? They keep asking the, the inflammation spectrum. Oh, this is the inflammation spectrum from Dr. Will Cole. That's a great book. This one here, Dr. Sarah Sousa, she is amazing. And I, I, I encourage you all to go and have a look at some of the work that she's done with cancer patients or with people that have been very ill. Uh, her philosophy is that thy food be thy medicine, medicine be thy food, the famous quote from Hippocrates. Uh, she's also cured herself from cancer uh, through food. Um, and here she is again. So these are some of the books that changed my life and some of the people that changed my life um, as far as understanding. And of course, Dr. Lausha, uh, number one, who started me on this journey um, to who helped me, you know, get a greater understanding of the role that food plays um, with our uh, overall well-being. Okay. Well, I really have had the best time chatting with you. I thank you so much. I know you are so busy, and I appreciate you taking time on a Sunday morning to thank you too. I'm so happy. thanks to everybody who tuned in. Yeah, thank you. Um, appreciate and you taking time. And we can save it. Um, and, and also I'll get some links because people want to just see, well, I'll, yes. we'll make sure that we give all of the, the spectrum of people who have helped in your life. Some right. their proper, their proper I'll send you some, I'll, I'll give you the links, but you know, wellco.com, um, Zach Bush, Dr. Will Cole, Angie Green, uh, Dr. Sarah Ciso, um, and Janelle and Dr. Laubscher and Janelle are just ageless I mean gosh I can't wait I mean I have really enjoyed not traveling but I'd, I kind of I've got this real hankering to get back to 11 Howard and see <laughs> Janelle yes. um, and uh, hopefully soon yes well and I you I have a huge hug soon and you be well and keep inspiring us all and thank you thank you so much thank you. Bye. bye bye thank you bye. Mm -hmm.